Maury.
And now, presented by Sprite. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal on 2K Sports, and the NBA season is about to begin. Tonight, we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Trailblazers out in Portland. And when you take a look at the Trailblazers, finally, they get to see if the moves made in the offseason and the preparations of the preseason will pay off with a win here in game number one. Shaq Terry Stotts out in Portland has his team, um, and he's paid his dues as a coach. Uh, what do you think of his style? Yes, he came up through the ranks under one of the greatest coaches to ever coach in the NBA, George Call. Uh, he was a tough-nosed player. He was a hard-nosed player. I bet, Ernie, the guys love playing for this guy. Would you be a good coach, Shaq? I most certainly will not. You wouldn't be a good coach? No. I don't want. You wouldn't want to be a coach? I don't want to coach a bunch of Kennys, a.k.a. juvenile delinquents. <laughs> Thank you, Shaq, for the honest insight. Let's get to Kevin Harlan, courtside. Kev. everybody to the day we've all been looking forward to the start of a new NBA season on 2k sports I'm Kevin Harlan and joining me to provide the analysis for what's sure to be another exciting year Steve Kerr the sharpshooter and Clark Kellogg and Portland starts out with the ball now a chance courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go the starting five on the floor so for Oklahoma City right now Glenn Rock nice junior out there with Q then it's Ennis Cantor then it's Ibaka and it's Baylor in at the three slot six on the shot clock Back to Curry. The three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. This, of course, the first opportunity to play Portland. But we saw how competitive and entertaining the season series was between these two teams last year. That was fun to watch. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. 
Now here's Curry. Monroe down low. Abaka on him. And Monroe kicks to Harden. He dishes it to Curry. And Steph Curry with the foul. That's his first foul. Well, I love it. He gets there first, absorbs the contact. Nice play defensively. No flop there. He took that one right in the chest. First quarter just over a minute played. Maury can't hit. And they match up really well. Kevin, they really do. Sometimes it comes down to the X factor when these two teams play. And really, it could go either way. They're that evenly matched. Now, here's Curry. There's the dish to Harden. From outside the arc, Curry's shot is off. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. You got that right. I mean, he'll do it from three-point land or anywhere on the perimeter, really, because he is a deadly shooter. You've got to do a better job defensively. Now we'll go to Doris Burke, who had a chance to talk with head coach Terry Stutz. He knows one of the hardest parts on scoring against this defense has to do with their prolific shot blocker, Serge Ibaka. He told me he's one of those guys who can get in your head a little bit because he's so mobile. You often don't see him coming. And Kevin, you add in his great rebounding and ability to hit from mid-range, and he's always an X-factor for them. Back to you. Thank you, Doris. Outside Curry. Monroe sets a screen for Curry. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. It's all knotted up. Boy, nice work inside. Tough to get that shot over a big defender like that. Oh, that takes skill and creativity, Steve. Uh, particularly on the release to make sure he doesn't get a hand on it. What a season for Robin Lopez a year ago. Career highs and blocked shots and rebounds. Especially on the offensive boards where he tied for second in the NBA. Now, here is Harden. High post shot. And Portland again with the bucket. Looks like he might be on his game today, Clark. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. And Robin Lopez doesn't put up gaudy numbers defensively, but... But he's very good at boxing out. Yeah, stats don't always tell the complete story. I think stats sometimes are a shadow of what's going on for real. The numbers are something we look at, but some of the little things that don't show up in the stat sheet help the numbers be what they are. Here's Batum following the score by Oklahoma City. Harden, no good. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. How nice was that alley-oop? Those two really have a good connection. Yeah, read each other so well. It's a play, I'm sure, Clark, they love to run. And as the receiver, uh, he didn't feel like he had the need to go for the monster finish. Just laying it in, making sure he got the points. They get a hand on it. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Here's Q. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. And Portland has possession. Following the score by Oklahoma City. Batum for three. Portland again missing. The Thunder leading by four. Left side, Baylor. Great pass to set up the way in. Baylor's got his second bucket tonight. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. By himself. Oh, look out. Watch out for oh, oh, wow. wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Clark? <laughs> well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense. That's for sure. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Chris Kamen has checked in for Lopez. Leonard comes in for Greg Monroe. Right, he's checked in for Nicholas Batum. And it's a follow in for James Harden. And then for Oklahoma City. Adams, he's checked in for Innes Kinchin. West comes in for Glenn Rice Jr. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Q. Now here's Wright. 
Shot clock at six. It's Curry with the drive to halt the run, and the layup is up and in. Very well done. He is a confident, dynamic scorer. The Thunder leading by six. Three-pointer Augustine, and the Thunder another three. Their offense already flowing. Some stellar shooting while jumping out to this lead. Well, high-quality shots, and they've been on target with them. Here's Curry. He feeds it to Kamen. And again, it's Portland converted. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Now the Thunder with it. They're on a 13-4 run. Pushing their lead to double digits. Augustine's got six. Their defense just hasn't been able to slow them down. And that's a big reason why they're trailing Clark. They haven't gotten many stops here. Outside Curry. Shot is off. Good work defensively by Ibaka. Oklahoma City has gone three of four on three-pointers in the first quarter. Doing well from long range. Shot and game clock separated by five. Trailblazers trail by ten to the left side wing. Curry against West. Curry dishes to a follow. Curry passes to a follow. Shot is no good. And they force the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Thunder out in front as they wrap up the first quarter with a massive 16-4 run from Portland. We're back in a moment. Bring your costume. It's Halloween in the NBA. LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers go up against the Chicago Bulls. Don't miss out. And welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. More action in store as the players get ready to go. Having a nice break to get hydrated with Gatorade. And Steve and Clark and I are refreshed and ready to go here as well. What stands out to you from Oklahoma City in this one? And that first quarter was all about pace, guys, because this club really got out. So here is West. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. On the floor for Oklahoma City getting going here in the second quarter. International combo up front with Ibaka and Adams. West is out there with Deion Waiters. And it's Baylor in at the three spot. This came in always known as an ambidextrous score in the low block. Has also now developed a deadly stroke from mid-range. It's a rare combo for a seven-footer. The Thunder leading by ten. Here's Baylor. Nails the 16-footer. Baylor's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the Thunder. Now here's a Aflalo. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Keenan sets a screen for a Aflalo. Outside Curry. It's stolen by West. On up the court. And Waiters kicks it to West. Gets an open look and hits. West has got himself on the board with three there. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for the Thunder. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. I think they're also getting some good looks in transition, doing a nice job of running the floor. And first time out of the game called for Oklahoma City.
a new group here for Portland. Lopez, he's checked in for Kamen. Monroe comes in for Leonard. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for Darrell Wright. And James Harden subbed in for Aaron Aflalo. And then for Oklahoma City, Dennis Canners checked in for Abaka. And Rice Jr. comes in for Baylor. And it's Q in for West. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Agreed, Clark. They've poured in three of the last five baskets on pretty open looks behind the arc. Now, here is Monroe. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. You can look at a number of areas where the Blazers improved last season. Really an outstanding year all the way around, but one area they still had trouble with was their depth. That's an area they'll look to shore up going forward. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brook. Doris, over to you. Well, you have to admire Dion Waiter's confidence as he feels he's going to be the next great shooting guard, not shy to proclaim himself as the next in line. Waiter saying, I really believe that I'll eventually be the best shooting guard in the NBA. This year, I'm going to show a lot of people who doubted me and still doubt me. I'm going to show them. Can't wait to watch, guys. Well, Doris, confidence is so key in this world. Thanks. Steve, Depp, definitely something Portland didn't feel comfortable with last year. Last in the league in bench minutes play. And by a wide margin. I mean, not surprisingly when they were you know, also last in bench scoring. Hard to tell which caused the other, but you know, certainly they didn't feel as comfortable as they could have you know, with heavy minutes from their reserves. Now here's Batum. Here's Curry. And Cantor pulls it down. Usually if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. It's pretty simple, guys. It's not complicated. The solution to ending this run will be to get back and actually be serious about playing some defense here. Yeah, mentally, they look defeated. I mean, every single hoop is coming in transition, and I don't know if they're going to compete here tonight or not. Outside Curry. Pass to Monroe. Curry kicks to Harden. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Eight points for James Harden. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. Here's Q. Here's Cancer. And, oh, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not. But sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Well, he shot 73% from the line last year. Fairly average in terms of where he stands in the league. Dennis Cantor was the third overall pick back in 2011. Drafted out of Kentucky where he actually never played a game there due to ineligibility. Uh, but uh, it's a bit of a gamble because of that. I'm not sure he's completely delivered on those lofty expectations. Yet. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Q, and it's Curry with the rebound. Lopez with the ball. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Left block shot on the way. Kept alive. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. 
pretty bad defense letting the offense get right to the rim, but a smart play to foul once he was there. But you know what's going to happen. They sent a message right there. Nothing easy inside. And he sinks the second. You look at the Thunder, they're really the epitome of patience, the build through the draft model, constructing a contender with consistency and, a, and a, just a solid approach every day. That's why they are year in and year out so tough to handle. Here's Curry following the score by Oklahoma City. Feeds to Batum from deep. Here's Monroe. Takes it off the glass. Monroe's got his second basket of the night. It's a great play under the boards for him. And, you know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second chance points, I mean, they're there for him game in, game out. And for the Thunder and their success, of course, not just predicated on top picks, but Clark, you've always talked about this, the right kind of top picks. The fit is so important. They've had great success with their picks. There's no denying that, and it's not easy to make that happen, but they've got a tremendous front office that does their homework, knows what they want in terms of talent and character and fit. Um, and you've got to give a little nod to luck and fortune here. I mean, not all of Very it. I mean, some of it, you know, it's not always all science. There's a little art involved in this thing, too. But they've got quality people making good decisions, and it's paying off on the court. Now, here's Curry. He's got nine. The shot's good from Lopez. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. So it's the Thunder now. They led by as many as 18 points. Maury guarded by Kirk. That's good. 22 points for Q. You know, he's showing some kind of a killer instinct this quarter, trying to stretch this lead out. Outside Curry. Poked away. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Q, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. Trailblazers trail by 15. Outside Curry. Lopez sets a screen for Curry. Monroe in the corner. Back to Curry. Monroe dishes to Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Curry for three. The Thunder pull it in. Rice has got four rebounds now tonight. This one for three. And the Thunder, another three. Got to make a defensive adjustment here because he's just destroying them from three-point range. Well, even when they've closed out on him, Steve, he's knocking them down. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Oklahoma City out in front. They lead by 18. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. I'm here with Scott Brooks. And, Coach, what about your approach has given you this lead? Well, we were aggressive. We attacked. We got to the basket. We passed. We defended. That's what we do. Scott, thank you. All good things, guys. Thank you, Doris. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of quarter number three. It's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. Really an extraordinary game for Q. He's got 27 points and just an amazing performance from downtown. Uh, he is raining down the threes, guys. You know how much I love to see this. They've got the two. Robin Lopez out there with Monroe. Then there's Stephen Kirk. And it's Harden in at the two guard. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. The Thunder have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. Well, as an 81% free throw shooting team last season, I mean, you can't find much fault with what they were doing from the line. You know, Kevin, they would love to post a similar percentage again this season. I mean, I think that's safe to say they'd love to shoot free throws as well as they did a year ago. Now, here is Harden. Shoots from 12. 
Jump shot is good that time. Harden's got 10 points in the game. It's a good thing he showed up today because without him, this team would be in big trouble. James Harden with those rush hour handles, whether it's breaking his man down in isolation or running the pick and roll, he keeps that thing on the string. Here's Batum. Dishes it to Curry. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen throughout, just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into quick points. And that's not going to be able to continue if they hope to get back into this game, Clark. It's a deflating play for your morale. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, Kevin, Terry Stotts led the Blazers to the second round last season, and he's now in his third year with the team. He spent a couple of seasons as head coach in Atlanta and Milwaukee, but this is his longest stint and the best talent he's ever had. As Stott said, you never know if you're going to get another chance. Guys, he's certainly making the most of it. Gets it back, but two with the steal. Side Curry. Lopez sets a screen for Curry. Batum wide open, he fires. Another shot, and it's Lopez laying it in. Lopez has got his second basket of the night. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. And it's good. Fought through contact, it's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. His work at the offensive end has been phenomenal. Maybe reason number one, they're ahead. For the Trailblazers, Chris Kamen's checked in for Lopez, and it's a flawless in for Steph Curry. The Thunder have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. A lot of high hopes for the Thunder heading into last season's playoffs, and it didn't go quite as they had planned. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Thunder would come back from the first round scare nicely as they got rid of the Clippers in the second round. And it looked like they would be in for a good fight against the Spurs in the conference finals, but just kind of faded away as that series wore on. And I think that was more what San Antonio did than what the Thunder did do. They played their best basketball with Spurs, yeah. obviously, late in the season. They raised it the each series. It seems as though they got to another level. They hit it at the right time. Mm -hmm. I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice Terry Stotts gave to his team during that last break. He's looking for some old-fashioned offense right now. He wants the pick and roll to be the centerpiece of their game plan at that end of the floor. He also wants them to concentrate on working as a team at the offensive end. Passing, patience, and teamwork. Those were the messages. Coach was not wasting any time in altering their strategy here in the second half. And Kevin, he's going to have to hope those changes take effect quickly. All right, Doris. Now here's a follow. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Four on the shot clock. A follow with another miss. The Thunder leading by 23. Hugh passes to Waiters. And there's the foul. It's on Nicholas Batum. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Portland. Wright comes in for Nicholas Batum. Here's Q from the high post. He drills it. Q's got 38 points. And they've set up countless buckets off assists. That's a huge part of what they've been doing here today. A lot of dime dropping going on out there, Steve. Now here's a Flalo. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Wow. He was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Thunder have gone 4-7 to get things started here in the second half. Here's Q. Kicks it to Rice. On the mark with the 15-footer. Rice has got six. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far, Steve. And even if it's only a modest advantage that they have in that category, it's still a significant factor. Harden, no good. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open. Just couldn't take advantage. And Waiters with the stuff. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. The Trailblazers have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Harden kicks to a follow. Harden outside. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. 
Thunder head coach Scott Brooks really consistent with his message. It's all about defensive commitment and trusting your teammates at that end of the floor. You talk about Scott Brooks' defensive focus. He played 11 years in the NBA as a 5'11 point guard, Steve. You'd better believe he had some toughness. Oh, he was nasty. He would pick you up full court. And, you know, he had a, there was a great stat about him when he played. He went five consecutive seasons where he had more steals than turnovers. So shows you about Scott Brooks. They set the screen. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. 152 left in the third. Now a timeout called by Portland. If you look at Q, he's been playing really well. He's been locked in from deep. They're giving him too much breathing room and definitely paying the price for it. And a new group getting ready for Oklahoma City. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Steven Adams. Allison comes in for Cantor. Baylor, he's checked in for Glenn Rice Jr. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Waiters. Now here's Kamen on the wing of Flello. Shot clock at five. Cans the shot from the wing. Oh, Flalo's got his second bucket tonight. 127 left to play in the third. Maury guarded by Harden. Baylor's shot is off. Looked like an easy two points right there. You know he's kicking himself for that miss. Came in against Collison. Leonard gets to right. Shot clock at six. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot from D. Harden, and there's the rejection. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Stephen Curry's checked in for Darrell Wright. Stephen Curry! 52 seconds left to play here in the third. Maury, guarded by Kerr. 11 feet away. The shot no good. And it's Portland the other way. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. And you know for the Kings, that's a game they'd really like to have. A follow with it. Baylor picks him up. Here's Kamen. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. And their solid play in the paint continues, guys. Well, that's been the focus, Clark, as we've watched. I mean, they've created one chance after another inside. And there's the foul. It's on cue. That is his first foul of the game. You know, they've really done a terrific job of holding onto the ball here, Kevin. Trailblazers trail by 21. Pass to Harden. The feed now to Lopez. Lopez left side. Four seconds left. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. It's the Thunder running away with it. From Portland, we're back in a moment. Tune in for a scary night of basketball. Halloween in the NBA. The Philadelphia 76ers go up against Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. Friday night, NBA hoops. Be there. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Well, this had to be the choice. It was an absolutely sensational feat, putting it way up there above the rim so that only his teammate could catch it. And not only does he do it, but he powers it down from there. Yeah, the, the timing of these plays are just phenomenal. No question. And Oklahoma City, looking who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Hugh out there with Jeremy Lamb. Then there's Nick Collison, then it's Ibaka, and it's Baylor in at the three. Now here's Lopez. To the inside, Curry, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. That's exactly what they had in mind on that possession. 
The Thunder leading by 19 points. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. They've done a pretty nice job of taking care of the ball here tonight, but they've got to continue to do so to maintain this lead. Monroe sets a screen for Curry. Screen by Monroe. Harden dishes to Monroe. Curry, wide open, sinks the three-pointer. Curry's got five points now this quarter. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Maury guarded by Curry, and that one's good. This guy's putting on a clinic out there. Everything is sound and sharp and crisp. He's really the centerpiece of their offense. Here's Harden on the way. Outside Batum. Harden with it. Baylor picks him up. It's Harden with the drive. Just three to shoot. Kept alive. And that one's good by Lopez. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post. Maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in here. Rebound by Monroe. This is why you need size inside. The ability to contest shots and force misses. Steve, that's exactly right. Even when you get in close, it's still a tough shot. Curry can't get it to go. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. Here's Q. Good on the baseline, Jay. Q's got 42 in the game. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Curry attacking. Passes to Lopez. Curry's shot is off. The Thunder leading by 18. And here they go. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. And they're also really getting out in transition and scoring some hoops in the fast break tonight. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Kamen's checked in. Now you look at hard fouls and what's now considered a, a flagrant foul. The referees in the league has really sort of changed the rule over the course of the last decade. And I think it's for the better. It used to be you could get away with basically mugging a player. Now uh, you have to be more careful. And I think it's good for the protection of the player and for the improvement of the game. Curry gets the bucket. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. The Thunder have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. They're really doing a good job working hard to get inside and draw contact, a little more so than they did in the first half. Well, and to keep a lead like this, they should continue to attack the paint like they have been. Don't settle for jump shots. Find your way to the free throw line. The Blazers were one of the pleasant surprises of the season last year, and they got a lot of their wins at home. Very tough here in the Rose Garden. Now here's Curry on the wing, Batum. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got assist number five here tonight. The Thunder leading by 16. 31 wins, Clark, for the Blazers here in Portland. Very tough in this arena. And you know, you hear about how some places are loud, like Oracle and Oklahoma can be. Or for the home of the Golden State Warriors. But this Portland crowd is as loud as it gets. Got to give some credit to the Rowdy Rip City Bunch. And they've been that way since back in my day when I was playing in the early 80s. Gosh, I can't even remember that. <laughs> Shot clock at six. Harden can't hit. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Here's Q. Takes a big high pounce and goes in. Q's got 48. He's just been the man since the start of this quarter. Just a tremendous period of basketball for him. Curry passes to Monroe. He kicks it to Kamen. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. 
It's Harden with the drive. Good on the shot. One forty-four left in the fourth quarter. Maury guarded by Kirk. Maury, and that oh, one's on target from the wing. Q's got 50 points. And that puts a, a cherry on top, so to speak, of what's been a phenomenal showing for them. All over but the whining now, Steve. Now here's Curry. Came in a screen on Baylor. Curry kicks to Batum. And the pass to Keem. Six to shoot. Offensive rebound. Some solid defense from Ibaka. Great job defending the hoop there. So important to have good presence defensively inside. Well, what we saw here tonight is you know, one team just had everything going for it, and the other did a huge margin of victory for the Thunder. You're right there, Steve, in one area that stands out that uh, we've seen tonight from them. Clark, their aggressiveness in getting pesky defensively, and then it sparks your offense, and that's what happened for them. When you have the type of effort we saw tonight, it's hard to overcome that kind of defensive pressure. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. Well, this win gives them a victory in round one of what's basically a four-game fight between these teams this season. And it will be a fight, Steve. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra meaning for the players. Well, you look back at this one, and what an amazing performance this has been for Q. Now, there wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every opportunity he got. Here's Monroe. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. You know, when he's in that tight with that kind of height advantage over the defender, well, that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. And so the Thunder now can just hold on to the ball. Here's Q, but they'll get another chance. Collison, the pass to Q. Good, and the assist goes to Collison. Q's got 54 points. And the crowd here, of course, not happy about the outcome. But you know what? We saw a team tonight that came in prepared to do battle on the road, and they clearly wanted the win. You know, they were determined to steal this game, and they showed it, Steve. Played harder and got the job done. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? We thank you for tuning in to this first game of the new NBA season. So for Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K Sports team, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. But first, let's reveal the Jordan player of the game, Q.